There are so many things to talk about tonight. <clears throat> we have a lot to get to. There's a lot to talk. Turn the light on over there with my loudness. There's a lot to go over. We had tables, ladders, and chairs on my last night. Reindeer. Ah. Wild Turkey American Honey is a national treasure that I just recently discovered. Imagine that. Oh, oh. oh it warms the tum tum when you're outside. Okay, so tables, ladders, and chairs. We have to talk about a few things because there are a few things that didn't make sense to me and that I didn't like. So we're going to talk about that. Tomorrow, we're going to have The Last Among Us before Christmas Day. I imagine we'll have another one next week before New Year's. That's not my call. I don't know. I have to talk to the old Tiger Mom Tom about that. But I'm done trying to defend myself in that stupid game. Done. Nothing changed last week. It was still, well, it could be blah, blah, and ransom. I think it's blah, blah, and ransom. Oh, I got my sister. My turn on. Blah, blah, and blah, blah. Fuck it. Every time it's ransom. I'm done. I'm done defending myself. If I hear, well, I think it would ransom. It's going to go, yeah, it was me. Fucking do it. Vote me off. Go ahead. Go ahead. And every time it's not me, I'm not going to finish my tasks. So I'm going to make all you morons. That's right. I'm, I'm ex as beef, beef likes to say, oh, ransom is being salty. And now we've gone straight beyond salt into molten hot lava mad. So, nope, there's no salt. It's just magma. Magma. That's where I'm at. I'm magma level mad. Uh, so yeah, if you vote me out, I'm not the imposter because you're morons. You're going to have to actually hunt out the right ones. Enjoy Tuesday. It's going to be fun. Uh, Manya, I'm done with you through the remainder of 2020. I've tried. I've tried to be friends with you and you'll have none of it. So I'm done with you. You're done and out of my life. Poot, I'm done with him too. Uh, cause I'm tired of the temper tantrums and the big whiny bard big whiny big baby bard i'm done with him he's out so it's just it's just tom and beef they're the only remaining people that i give a crap about uh who watch these stupid videos for the remainder of 2020 that's it tom and beef you're on the you're on the nice list everybody else go fuck themselves my 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 Let's start out with, oh, that was powerful. Let's start out with tables, ladders, and chairs on my. Problem number one. Who's in there? Is there somebody in there? Tara, problem number one. The Miz has the Money in the Bank briefcase, which he won in a match from Otis, who won the Money in the Bank briefcase after somebody else pulled it down. I thought the chins were going away. I feel like there should be more progress on the chins. I'm down to 214. I was at 250. I'm down to 214, but these chins, I just, I can't get rid of them. I'm gonna take a settling torch and see what I can do. Otis wins the briefcase because somebody grabbed the briefcase, fumbled it, and he caught it. That's problem number one that is dumb. Then he has a match with The Miz for the briefcase because reasons. Miz wins the briefcase from him. And instead of last night cashing it in on the winner between Fauntleroy and Jingleheimer, that's how little I gave a crap about the match. Uh, I think it was McIntyre and AJ Styles. Instead of cashing it in on the winner, he cashes it in to make it a triple threat match. Miz has been the Money in the Bank holder before. He's cashed it in, I believe, and became and has become the champion, right? Beef. He's become the champion after cashing it in, in a, at an opportune moment. So he knows how to do it. 
but they have written a storyline to where now he cashes it in to make it a triple threat match instead of cashing it in the winner, which makes zero sense. It, this Money in the Bank briefcase, this one here for 2020, it's clear has been an afterthought and a series of whoopsie daisies. <laughs> WWE is so dumb. Uh, so that's problem number one. Problem number two is Charlotte Flair. N because she's so plastic, if she can't have an Inferno match, I, I don't know when or where uh, a women's Inferno match would, would come into play, but let's say one did, she couldn't have one because she would get too close to the flames and just... Bleep, she would just melt. She'd be gone. She's so... Pla My daughter has more Barbie dolls in that room over there. That's the window to the playroom, the window to the world. She has more Barbie dolls in that room, and there's less plastic in there than there is on Charlotte Flair. Never before have I seen so much work done on a WWE superstar since China. And I don't give a crap if that upsets you or you're offended by that. I don't care. Be offended. She's the worst. Super glad she's back to uh, take the spotlight off of everybody and dominate everything. So just give all the, all the titles. Both tag team championships to her. Give the women's championship to her. Give the other one to her. Hell, give the Intercontinental a, 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 a title battle. Give the Intercontinental title to her. Take it off of the homeless looking um, Sami Zayn and give it to Charlotte Flair. Why not? Who cares? It's Charlotte Flair. She's the best. Woo. Next up, the freaking Inferno match. Uh, oh. When this stupid, the Fiend, came along. Beef and Tom and Poot all got so excited that they wet themselves a little bit over The Fiend. The Fiend, The Fiend, The Fiend's the greatest character ever. He's just gonna be the greatest thing ever. Oh, I got so excited for The Fiend. I love The Fiend. Oh, The Fiend's got some great stuff. Got thick. How's it going? How's that Fiend going? Is it working well? Must be working well because it's losing to Goldberg and it's losing to Orton. I'm very glad that Orton is getting this push, this well-needed push that he deserves as a young and up-and-comer. He's He's going to do great things. I mean, he's a future Hall of Famer. I'm sure he's going to win the WWE title at some point. So, yeah, they all wet their pants over The Fiend. I had no problem with The Fiend. I didn't. I thought The Fiend was a fun character. Very interesting. But unlike those other three, and I'll, I'll call you out, and I don't care. Fight me, you're wrong. Unlike those other three, I didn't wet my pants over The Fiend because... WWE has an immense talent. Man. WWE, uh, oh cop, there's a backfire. <laughs> WWE has an immense talent for taking a superstar that is captivating, interesting, and has longevity, and just turning them into a big steaming pile of unfettered mud and that's what they're doing with the fiend just garbage there's no reason why he should have lost to goldberg there's no reason why he should be losing an inferno match to randy orton here we are here we are this is this okay okay you know what i don't care i'm not gonna get worked up about it i'm, just, I'm not it's not gonna happen uh-uh mm-mm Got some ice. I'm not going to get... I don't care. <laughs> There's no point in getting worked up over things that happen in WWE. Because A, I can't change them. B, there's no point. Because it's not going to change. It's going to keep happening. Why bother? And C, there are other things out there to watch in the wrestling world. Like... Like NXT. Like AEW. That aren't... Hot piles of putrid bile. So why bother? Why bother getting upset? I hope they send The Fiend or Bray Wyatt or Husky Harris or whatever the hell he is. Uh, uh, Wyndham Rotunda. Send him back to AEW. Honestly, that would be the best thing for him. Any, and Kevin Owens, because WW, the WWE audience doesn't deserve Kevin Owens. He, he's the best. Watch the ladder match between Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens. It was by far the best singles match on that card. I'm not interested in your opinions, Beef or Poot. I don't care if you don't think it wasn't the best singles match on the card. It's not open for a discussion. Not interested. 
make your own video. Don't give a crap what you think on this one. Yeah, watch it. It was, it was great. Can't say phenomenal because that's AJ Styles and he was in a separate title match. Didn't watch it. It was good. It was really good. Um, Kevin Owens tells an amazing story in the ring. He moves. Hello. Oh, okay. He moves like a Shawn Michaels, but he's the size of a Kevin Owens. I don't, I don't know how that works. I don't know the physics there. I'm sure it's possible. I have to consult a specialist, uh, an expert in their field. They'll tell me. In any case, um, I, I would say I would give tables, ladders, and chairs, oh my. I would give it a solid B rating. It wasn't bad. It has been better than most 2020 WWE pay-per-views. Definitely better than most. It was, it was good. There were some things that were stupid and didn't make a whole lot of sense. Money in the Bank, making it a triple threat. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> Constantly feeding the Fiend to people. I don't want to talk about the Fiend. Such potential. So much wasted. Such wow. What a disaster. We're going to move on to some Among Us. Because that's happening Tuesday night. Tomorrow. This is going to go up tonight. Because it does take me 18 hours to edit a video. It's going to go up tonight. So if you watch it tomorrow, that's on you. You should have watched it tonight because that's when it goes up. Tuesday night. Among Us. It's going to happen. 10 p.m. I'm going to play on... I might be on the exercise bike or I might just be having some uh, American honey. It might be one of those nights. It's Christmas week. <sighs> so the jury's out. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Trying to defend myself with this menagerie of clucking hens that do nothing but go buck, buck, and ransom. Oh, it's buck, buck, and ransom. Buck, buck, and ransom. Oh, I think it could be buck, buck, and ransom. Really seems like it's buck, buck, and ransom. So many eggs are laid during the Among Us because there are so many hens just cluckety clucking around. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Do it. It's me. It's me. Get me out every time. First one every time. Go ahead. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to engage in the temper tantrums and the whiny boohooey that come out of that pink Barty bitch. It's not gonna happen. It's not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. My four-year-old daughter complains and whines and throws less temper tantrums than him. I'm done. So if he sees something or thinks it's me, it is. Freaking, it's me. Just go push the button, get me out, it's me. Done fighting. Not fighting him, I'm done. I'm done engaging, he's the worst. So he's dead to me for the remainder of 2020. He's out. He's out of the band, he's out of the circle of trust, he's out, it's just goodbye. I gotta have one more of these. Cause we're getting worked up. Mm. Ah, joining Poot in the circle of hatred is Mania. She's also the worst and she's been the worst for a lot longer. Um, done trying to befriend such a hateful, villainous, anger, bile filled person. So if it's me as the imposter and Mania is playing, you'll know it's me. Cause I will snuff her out first each and every time and if I can't get her alone, I'll just go in front of people and dump, and dump myself into a vent in front of everybody. Don't care. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's go. She's out. She's out of the band. She's out of the circle of trust. She's dead to me as well. So there it is. We're going to finish off 2020. Those two are Dunyan rings. Tom and Beef. Beef was egging her on last time. So he's, he's teetering. He's on the, you know... He's on the teeter-totter of, uh, of also being ousted, but so far he's okay. He redeemed himself a little bit. Him and his wonderful wife dropped off some. They're out there anymore because I took him. I took him in. I took him in and ate a bunch of them. So ah, that's probably where the chins are coming from. It's because I'm, you know, eating a bunch of the, eating a bunch of cookies. It didn't, re it wasn't really this dark when it started. So it's progressively getting darker. It's racist. Where's the switch? Hey, whoa! Oh boy, we can really, really turn it on the chins. Turn, 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 turn in the butter. <laughs> so that is what you have to look forward to. Uh, <laughs> Tuesday Dad Among Us on the Casual Gaming Dad channel. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Poots, dead to me. Hope he doesn't come. Mania's dead to me. She can stay at home too. Uh, what else? Uh, other than that, Christmas week. It's going to be ho, ho, ho. 
good time. I don't think I finished what I was saying before. I, th I think I got derailed by the darkness. Uh, thank you to Beef and his wonderful wife. Less him, because he didn't do too much. I'm sure she baked all of them. I'm sure he didn't help. And he didn't even bother to get his lazy bones out of the car to drop them off on the porch over there where I found them. It was all her. You want to know how I know? Because I know. Because I watch things and I know when things happen. Beef, you stayed in the car and made your poor wife get out in the cold and bring your friends. You knew us first. We're her friends as well. But listen, that was really the ungentlemanly thing to do. Sit in the car, probably play it on your dumb Facebook while she brings the cookies herself up onto the porch. Way to go, Beef. Thank you, Brittany. You're the best. And I apologize for the lack of ambition and motivation in your husband when it comes to being a gentleman. I don't think I have much more to go with, say, here. Steamy breath. There's not much more to do. There's not much more to talk about. TLC was good. Poots out. Manya's out. Manya, Manya. I don't care how to say your name. I hate you. But uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully Among Us is a... What's down there? Hopefully Among Us is a good time. And... If you watch these videos, why would you? Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy Holidays. Have a wonderful f f uh, Festivus. What are the other ones? Happy Hanukkah. Merry Kwanzaa. Where's the Happy Kwanzaa? I should know. I don't know. I shouldn't know because I that's not a, a religion I celebrate. So I, I shouldn't know what that means. But Merry Happy, whichever one. Uh, Merry Happy Hanukkah, either uh, two. Um, I don't know. I just, I just know Merry Christmas because I do Christmas. So that's the one I know. But... Whatever you celebrate, enjoy your time. Have a time, enjoy some presents, ho, 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 merry jingle all the way. It's raining, but it might get ice weather. I don't know that I have any more to cover. Tom, I need a new P3 shirt. The one I have is too big. I need a smaller one. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Hopefully you can get me the friends and family discount on a new P3 shirt. If you don't have a P3 shirt, go to the Casual Gaming Dad store site place. Gold Gaming, Casual Gaming Dad. Use your internet search browser and figure it out. Anybody who lives nowadays, if you're not in your 80s, you should understand how to use the internet, type in some words, and then you get to a place where I'm telling you to go. Go buy some Casual Gaming Dad merch. Buy some P3 merch. There's only one thing to buy, so buy that one thing. And, uh, you know, support the things. Thank you to Casual Gaming Dad for being a sponsor of the Pittsburgh Pod Driver Podcast. We, we appreciate it. You're the best. Thank you to Sean Tischler for being a sponsor of the casual. Nope, nope, nope. Uh oh. Fasting, intermittent fasting, and consumption don't mix real well because there's less in your body food wise for absorption and it leads to problems. Like me looking at my screen and not the camera. I need to get a selfie stick because I'm holding my phone with this hand here. It's like, oh, there's the hand and the phone just goes, snaps right into my hand and my arm gets tired. And then I start to hold it closer and that's not a view that anybody wants to have. It needs to be further away. That's more appealing. And it's not, it has nothing to do with COVID. I've got the antibodies. It has everything to do with Nobody wants to see this. The further away it is, the better. That's where I shine. That's where, my, that's where I am in the looks department. The further away I get, the better I look. Thank you to Sean Tischler for being a sponsor of the P3 Podcast. Thank you to the Midcard Maniac for constantly sending in Stop the Champs questions. You're a loyal fan and we appreciate it. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a Happy New Year. I'm sure there will be more of the delinquency that you're watching on your screen right now. The debauchery, delinquency, disaster. Three. Before the New Year. So I wish you a Happy New Year then. As well as now. Happy New Year. Goodbye.